South Africans go to the polls on Wednesday. It is the sixth election since the end of the apartheid rule. Most parties are promising to create jobs, fight crime and poverty, crack down on corruption and make more land and homes available for the masses once elected. As CGTN's Rene Delcam reports, the gloves are off as the masses have their say at the ballot. A new political poll shows that the ruling African National Congress will win the national election with about 61% of the vote, while arch political rivals, the ANC and the DA, are neck and neck in the battle for the Western Cape. I know that we are all going to vote so that the ANC can retain power at the national level and take power here in the Western Cape. And many of us around the country are filled with a lot of hope as well as a lot of confidence that the African National Congress is going to emerge victorious. Fellow South Africans, this is a choice about tomorrow. This election is a choice between jobs or corruption. The evidence is there. You want jobs, you vote dear. You want corruption, you vote for the others. It's as straightforward as that. Because as we stand here today, this is about a future. And I really wake up to a dream that says, one day we will put a job in every home. Right now, the political battle for the Western Cape is so intense and the rivalry between the ANC and the DA so great that the DA has called on voters not to waste their votes on the smaller opposition parties. The DA, which governs the Western Cape, is desperate to keep the province out of ANC and EFF hands. But the EFF believes it has a good chance of winning the hearts, minds and votes of the people of the Western Cape. Amanda! Fighters, we are here to take over what belongs to us. This government of Western Cape belongs to the EFF, belongs to the people of Western Cape. You are not foreigners in the Cape Town. You are not foreigners in Western Cape. This is your home. This is your land. You must claim this land. Renadal Calm, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.